Hello, Mr. Davenport. You're on time, dude. We got a few more minutes for students to arrive. It's only like five of us, so just waiting for the rest to pile in. Okay. Mr. Tyler. Yes, sir. I got Romel Benford. Okay, Benford. Was he there at uh one thirty or was he late? What would no, he, he call? He was here. Okay. Yeah, we have the issues. Okay, that's that's cool. I'm just I, I don't have you you my eyes. I don't know, but okay. Uh, start a class for attendance. Um, Thank you, Mr. Borders. Um, Davenport, are you able to, um, and uh, Borders, this is how we're going to do it. When students have to speak, you have to bring them to the microphone because if they talk on their computer, it's going to be a real bad echo. So, That's the only fix. So, okay. Uh, is there a I'm sorry. I mean, he's not able to get on the class. Is, is it a way going to ask me or something? Uh, it's, okay, so it's the same computer issue, right? Okay, no, usually they get it through the email, but I'm assuming he doesn't have the email address. Hi, Mikhail, I just saw you. So it's Benford, right? I'm going to try to just send him an alternate link. Well, he needs an email link to get it on. You said what, sir? He's going to need the email link to get it on the class, right? I sent it to all five students, even Ms. Smith just arrived. He has an email that was sent to him. Did he log in with his email that was in the repository or a different email? He does, cause hold on, I'm going to the repository now. I can, I don't think that's a true statement. So Benford is Jerry Nino at gmail.com, and then the parent is my kid, so he has an email address. Yeah, kids got to be careful. We have rec records on what you do and don't do, so please use that information. 
Uh, Ms. Smith, or is your microphone working? Yeah. Okay, cool. And I'm sorry, Davenport, I'm going to need you to read the norms. All right, so you see my screen? Mm hmm. Okay, uh, take it away, sir. It's kind of hard to see, but I'll just zoom in. Can you pin it? Yeah, I can. I'm on okay. uh, my phone. My computer isn't working right now. Well, you got to charge it up, dude. You know, this class only gets easier when you're on your computer and not your phone. But go ahead, read what you can. No one has the right to hurt another person. Education in the classrooms are sacred. We will never behave in a way that would discredit ourselves, our school, or our family. An Excel Academy Southwest student always acts with integrity. We take pride in Excel, in Excel Academy of Southwest. Go ahead, finish it off. Motherfucker, somebody was coming. Oh, okay. We respect the opinions of others. We, we respect the culture of the classroom. We are attentive and participate. We have high expectations of ourselves, our peers, and teachers. We are here to focus on preparing ourselves for post-secondary endeavors. Thank you. Okay, so now uh, we'll change these screens. I'm trying to get uh, the information alternatively to Mr. Benford through Edsby. Uh, okay, so GGI Townhouse, we do this every day, 11.15 a.m. And uh, you get some great information. Today's topic was uh, very powerful because it showed how people can be stereotyped and uh, how you have to be the agent of change for that matter. So log in at that time. If you don't have the link, it's usually an SB in my class or you can ask any teacher for that link. Okay, so uh, it is actually mandatory, my understanding, for you all to be present. And you get five to 10 points just participating in the GGI topic. Uh, Mr. Borders, I sent it to him in ESB as well. Again, no excuses. Um, what else here? Uh, next link. Uh, the Raspberry Pi kits, we're going to be utilizing these mostly all of quarter four. There's no getting around it. Uh, as you graduate, you all need to be able to do certain things in the real world. Borders, you had a question? My bad, I'm helping him. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so, look, if you have not scheduled to get your kit, please call the school. We can't have too many people in the building. But uh, at the same time, I almost said with the dope brand, my kick, um, you need to <laughs> make sure it's functional. There's a lot to do. I'll be in the building on Thursday and Fridays. Okay, so if you need help troubleshooting it, you just can't get it, then that means you have to bring the kit up there, and I want to make sure you understand what to do and how to take care of your kit because you're going to need this for uh, very big assignments that get you out of the final exam and uh, the midterm. Okay, so if you haven't done so already, uh, scheduled school, but also uh, students that do have the kits, I almost forgot about that part and read my notes. Uh, you can uh, bring up your damage kit. If you damage your kit somehow, some way, uh, you're able to bring it to the school. Make sure you bring all the parts back because I got to give you a new kit, right? So I need those parts back so I could try to uh, repair it um, on my what little time I have sometimes <laughs> in between times when I get to school. So uh, that's the only uh, uh, issue with that. All right. Let's see here. Miss Smith, can you read that? She's also a participant of this program uh, in the past. Every year, uh, there is a nine o'clock in the community of your home and get extra credit for coming to the class. Pandemic is affecting the coding job market or nine o'clock. I will be able to go Okay. All right. So, like I said before, uh, boys, once he gets into class, I'm going to need him to not uh, have his volume on or his uh, microphone. Just have them say it into the speaker of the smart board. That way we won't get the huge echo problem. So you can get participation points. I uh, put it in his email and I also put it in Esby. So he has a message from me in Esby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to make sure. <laughs> all right, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. I got all you kids. I understand. The technology's going to track y'all. All right, so uh, let's see here. I was going to have him read it. Can he read the screen starting at Daily Borders? I want to make sure you get some points. You got to step up to the screen, sir. Can't hear you. Speak up. <laughs> Okay, first off, you're, you're, you see where the laptop is? I can barely hear you. 
right. No, no, come come to the laptop. The laptop's uh, on the side, right? There you go. Yeah, but I can't see the screen from there. Oh, okay. That's going to be tough. All right. Well, see, you know, <laughs> try to read loud. That's why I told you because the mic is over there and you're at the screen. Daily tasks. Students will be able to complete the evaluation. Evaluation. Evaluation of Keep going. Hello, all the parents. Aspiring, sir. Speak up. Hello, all the aspiring students. Students, welcome to class. Decide of as you can access. That's all. Pre-recorded. Videos of each class. The videos are normally ready to review by 4 p.m. daily. Thank you, sir. Go have a seat. All right. Now, um, it's just that simple to get small points in this class, everybody, all right? So uh, where are we at? This is fourth period. I think that's queued up and ready for you all. I'm gonna have Mr. Davenport. Can you read the screen there? Uh, starting with the, you know, the agenda part and the terms. Okay. Wait, agenda. Oh, the agenda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today's objectives. S W A T. Analyze the. This that means students will be able to, sir. Uh, okay. Students will be able to analyze the electric potential voltage with respect to the electronic electrostatic electrostatic constant charge and distance thank you and then the words in the middle read the whole box oh the words in the middle that says voltage and then this one says classroom term of the day is electric potential voltage the word of the day is carous carous Okay, so you're going to need that. Try to keep that at the forefront of your mind. We're going to review that objective at least three times, all right? Now, first and foremost, you're going to need um, this link here. <laughs> He's killing me with this Joker icon. <laughs> He'd be killing me. Um, dude, okay. Um, where was I, what was I saying? He threw me off with that. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? Uh, I'm going to close the presentation, and I'm going to put a link in the chat. Uh, and then we're going to review the problem, right? Because you guys are engineers. I got to make sure you see what you're doing. And you're going to be doing some of these experiments with your kids. So, again, another reminder, you're going to need your kids. I think Mr. Ortiz has one set up in my class now. And um, you're going to need your own kit because you got to practice at home. This is a hands-on class. And believe it or not, there are still ways to test what you know virtually. Just can't use your phone. So, I'm like, heads up. It's going to get hard on you if you're hard-headed. You can't use your phone in my class because this is like trade school work. Okay. All right. Uh, let me stop this. And then I'm going to show, uh, let's see here, a link. Uh, make sure your chat feature of your Google Meet is available. So you want to definitely switch screens. If you're in a different tab, you won't see what I'm talking about. Uh, but it'll be in your chat. I'm just waiting for the computer to come out of snail speed for a second. There it goes. Okay, capacitor lab. That's what I want. Now I want everybody to get this uh, going because you're gonna need to take a screenshot or a snapshot of this process to understand electricity in terms of capacitors and their plates. There's a plate up here and a plate down there. So you'll see what I mean when, from uh, the simulation that we're gonna use to recreate our own versions of what happens in this problem. And then I'm gonna be giving you some notes that I did already in advance for you to help you through the problem. But keep in mind, the notes don't have the same numbers. Okay. I, I'm not sure what's, was that a question or? Oh, no, it's cool. Uh, but as much as you might want to do it, I can, I'm going to mute you, but when he, when someone, when a student's ready to talk, you got to unmute. Oh, he did it already. Never mind. Um, I get him. I, okay. So I only need you to just make the student speak when they, they're there. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> this teamwork for real. Uh, I put the link in the chat. Everybody click on that link in the chat. You're going to need that because that link, it takes a little bit to load due to your internet speed, but you won't be able to do the part of your simulation in your document if you don't do this part first, okay? So click on the link first. And it's the link in the chat, everybody. And right, I'm going to bring this screen over here so you can see what I'm doing. And if I'm moving too fast, let me know. Some students say I can move really quick, but we only have, I'm not moving fast to, you know, hurt you. 
moving fast because in the real world you have to have a lot done to get a big paycheck so pay attention because if, if i move too fast in my mind that means you're doing something else or daydreaming you got to pay attention okay so click on that link in the chat and you'll get this screen i have up here now so i'm gonna go around the room uh mr davenport do you have this link running you see it no i'm trying to right now okay and then uh miss smith how about you oh he got the camera going and everything yeah. okay i can see uh everything thank you uh that board is ortiz but uh thank you they got the hang of it oh that must be ortiz i see board. <laughs> and board is sitting right next to him all right this is gonna be a good year uh end of the year what was I saying, uh, Smith? You said, yeah, I'm sorry. I just got distracted. <laughs> Ortiz, you the man. <laughs> okay, Ortiz, you sure? <laughs> he having a field day. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. Um, uh, what was I saying? Benford, did you click on the link? Whew, my team ain't playing with y'all. Okay, I got a thumbs up. All right. So you got the capacity lab running. The reason I'm saying you got to do this is because you got to do it with me or y'all going to get lost. You understand? I'm an electrical engineer. The way we talk is the way we talk. The reason I slow down my speech is because I'm a teacher now and a parent. So I'm trying to be very, very careful with you. But in the real world, you got to pay attention. All right. So let's go through this once because we still got to get your problem done for tonight. Oh, he put him in the room. OK, just make sure his microphone is off and uh, his uh, volume is off. He can hear on the smart board. OK, he gave me the thumbs up like he cooking at the grill. OK, board. All right. <laughs> what was I saying? OK, Benford, I got you now. All right, that way I'll be at least able to share a screen. I think my staff getting the hang of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's keep going. Everybody click on capacitance because you're going to need to understand what these plates are in the problem I'm, I gave you in SV. You won't know what they are unless you're doing the assignment with me. There was a question there. I heard a microphone or something. That's that important. What, what's going on? Oh, my fault. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought she was asking a question. All I heard is click, click. I'm like, huh? Is he trying to talk? All right. So has everybody clicked on capacitor uh, lab link and you're clicked on capacitance, right? Let's click over here and make sure everything's working. Yeah, everything's still running. It's just a computer. That's why I like two computers running. So I don't know which computer's acting up. Okay, so I got my mouse still going. I just got to wait for it to catch up. While I'm doing this, everybody should just be playing around with the capacitor lab. There it goes. Ugh, that's so slow. I wish I had a MacBook. Life expectancy of a computer is about one uh, year. And then you got to upgrade, upgrade. Okay, so everybody, you see the battery I'm using. I want you to adjust the battery power to 1.5 volts. Okay, did everybody do that part? Michaela, uh, Davenport, Benford, all the way to the top at 1.5 volts. If you don't do that, you will not see the amount of charge on the plates. Let's see how much time we got. Oh, we got we got 40 minutes. We'll be all right. I need y'all to confirm. Turn on your microphone. Uh yeah. Okay, thank you. You got it. Uh Davenport, did you catch up to where I'm at? Yeah, I can't um like I'm doing it, but like I can't come back because I'm on my phone. So it's gonna close the app. Okay, no, no. You just gotta talk, turn your mic and let me know. Um because you got tab. That's why I told you not to be on the phone, too. This is like, oh, it's going to be hard. Uh, Benford, uh, I don't know if somebody could turn on the microphone. Can you confirm? Or can staff uh, pretty much tell me? Uh, I see he's moving stuff around. Uh, you, do you have the, the 1.5 volts on your battery power on now or no? Okay, it looks like they're, they're, they're talking it out. Ortiz is not playing. Um, <laughs> So you're going to drag that dial because a lot of people get this confused to 1.5 volts. So you can see the charges on both plates. OK, the other things you want to click is top plate charge and stored energy. Make sure you have those values going so you can really understand what you're using. Lastly, you have the electric field. This is what mysteriously happens in between the plates. Uh, Tyler. Yes, sir. Are students supposed to have this uh, page open on their own? Yeah, you're supposed uh, to be doing it with me. Did you hmm? look at the yes, I did. Can you can you put it again? Because it came in after the fact. Okay, okay. Let me. Uh, thank you for that. I didn't know you didn't have the link. Okay, I thought it went. Uh, copy. Put that there. Because he just joined, so that's probably why he didn't see it. 
Okay, uh, that's the link. You, you know, it takes a little bit to catch up, so I'm going to slow down for a second. Everybody, make sure you have these settings done. We haven't even got to the problem yet, so I'm probably going to have to carry this to day two so we can talk about the problem. The new technical issues are occurring. Is he under uh, capacitance or the other one? He's doing capacitance. That's the, the first one, right? Does he got it? Okay, I think you're not in at me. I don't know, but um, so 1.5 volts is the battery amount. You're gonna have the plates fully activated, and then also you want to turn on electric field, stored energy, and top plate charge. Make sure you do all these settings, everybody, right now. And in a moment, I'm gonna show you how to do a screenshot. So you can put it in your document. I'm hoping we can get there, but it's 153. Yeah, I got time. Because what's, what's that? 37 minutes or something. Um, so everybody here, I'm just going around the room and checking before I move too far. Because people told me I'd gone too fast when I did this last quarter. So Michaela, is so far so good or what? Yeah. Okay, uh, Davenport, how's it looking? It's good. All right, all right. I mean, we just, I'm just slowing down y'all for uh, Benford's purpose so you can catch up. Now, I want to talk about your tools in engineering. One is this multimeter over here. Now, grab it. It's sitting on a desk. It doesn't like a desk, but it's a desk. And you're going to be able to figure out what voltage was. And then we're going to review our objective one more time. So I'm going to grab the red lead, which is usually hot when you're talking about engineering or electricity, like electricians and stuff. Or carpentry that's hot cold or your ground lead goes to the bottom plate okay now all i really wanted you to see is what happens when i disengage the battery like i'm doing you guys can do it too you see these two points if you click on it it'll disengage the plates from the battery okay just click here now the plates you know they still have same amount of charge. This is why it's called a capacitor. So imagine it's like a battery source. If you charge it up and you don't use it, it's always there. It's kind of like when you guys have your, your cell phone, real world application moment, and you have this external charger. Well, that big old battery charger for your, your cell phone, if you get it, is just a big capacitor. Anyway, um, so you need to take a snapshot of this because this is the first screenshot you're going to do. Because I want to jump, I want to give you guys a couple of minutes to work on the actual problem and review the objective. So here's how you take a screenshot. Does everybody have what I have? Benford, did you catch up? You just nod or no? Or are you where I'm at before I change screens? Because I don't want to. Okay, he gave me a thumbs up. What about you two, uh, Smith and Davenport? We got to work on the rest of the students that's supposed to be here. Yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. All right. What about you, uh, Michaela? Yeah. Awesome. All right, so here's how you take a screenshot. Pay attention, everybody. We'll come down here to this FET simulation logo. Click on that. And it says screenshot right here. Okay? I'm going to click on screenshot. And then once you do that, it's copied to a clipboard, meaning you could paste it into a different document. Now, I'm about to provide you with a document you can use to get you started on today's problem. So let's review the objective first. I just want to keep that link ready for you guys. Um, one moment. I'm waiting for this to catch up. Okay. So who has not read yet? I got to remember from my notes. I wrote down your points. I'm going to go for uh, Mr. Davenport. Let's get some. Can you see my screen? Is it going to be hard for you to do it? Should, should I come to somebody else? That's going to be a point. Okay. So go ahead one more time for me, sir. Uh. You want to read this again? Uh, yeah, it's called. We got to do the objective three times. Just oh. sorry, teacher requirement, man. It's okay. <laughs> you get points for it though, but yeah, we got to do it again. Classroom term of the day is electric potential, aka voltage. The word of the day is carouse. Welcome to Intro to Engineering with Robotics Agenda. Students will be able to analyze the electric potential, aka voltage, with the respect of electrostatic constant charge and distance. Very good. You got it this time. I didn't give you no trouble. All right. Um, okay, so that's 20 points for you. And uh, again, literacy is a big thing, especially in engineering. You can read these terms and understand what they mean. 
then you go a long way in science. Now, um, I'm gonna come over here to the document you need for today. And you're gonna have to go to your chat because I'm about to give you a doc a link because I tried emailing to you guys and for some reason some of y'all emails are getting bounced. I think that's because I'm using Google Docs, but I'm gonna figure this out. I've just got to convert all the way over to Microsoft. It's just the only fix I'm seeing. Uh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, Google. All right, everybody go to your chat because I'm about to put it in there. I just want to make sure those restrictions are not on. Maybe that was the issue. I think I'm figuring this out, y'all. One day at a time. Okay, anyone with link? That should, that should be fine. I did that last time. Let's see what happens this time. Okay, so here is the link that you need to get caught up on today's assignment. You're going to click on it. And remember, uh, well, I can't say remember, it's the first day, right? Please do not change the document. You're going to go to File, Make a Copy, and you'll have a copy of your own, especially if you're on a Gmail account. So I need everybody to click on that link right now because these are the notes to the problem for today. And then we're going to talk about what that problem is. But first things first, let's see if you have the notes. Okay, so Benford, did you click on the link? It looks like you're just looking at the screen. <laughs> you got to go to the chat. Uh, Davenport, Smith, do y'all see the link? Yes. Okay. Are you able to get into it? I'm going to do it right now. Okay. You got to like click on it and go into it. And again, do not change anything once you get in there. Just go no, to file. I can't. You say you can't? You said there was an error opening this file. Oh, I don't know why. Try to refresh. Does everybody get the same error? No, it seems like somebody got in here. All right, so who's having trouble? Smith, is it working for you? Yeah. Okay, so you must be the one that's in there. Uh, Davenport, what's the what's the problem? I keep I keep refreshing and clicking on the link, but it keeps saying there was an error of opening the profile, opening the file. Okay, do me a favor. What I want you to do is real quick put your email address in the chat. I'm gonna turn that on, and then Benford, what's the verdict, dude? Uh. Like, are you in the link? Because I can see when y'all pop into this document or not. You are? Okay. I don't see you yet, but all right. So everybody should be in here, right? And I'll know because there's an icon up here that lets me know when people are actually in the document. Uh, okay, thank you, Davenport. And I'm just going to share the document out to you, if that's okay. possible. Huh? That's it, okay. And that way you should. I think this feature still works. It's been dormant though. Yeah, he is in there. Okay, so everybody, real quickly, click file, and then make a copy. In the corner, you have a file option. If you see my mouse, make a copy. Do not change my document. You're going to use this to solve today's problem. File, make a copy. Once you do that, you'll have your own copy of my notes. So do that right now. The next thing you're going to do is, if you remember, you had a word of the day and a term of the day, or a classroom term of the day. You got to find the definition of such using Google for both. I kind of already told you what voltage was about in terms of electric potential. And there's a hint in here in the notes, too. So let's go through it. And that's 25 points if you do that correctly. Don't forget to change. Go ahead. Huh? Davenport, what happened? Hmm? I thought you said something. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Oh, did you get into the document, though? Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, because it went to your email. I don't know if you check, check your email or not, but I just sent it to you. And you open it from there, see what happens. Uh, well, so let me, I have the document, but it won't let me make my own. Right, you got you to gotta click file and make a copy, right? That's not how it pops up on mine. It just shows because you're on your phone. You got you got to figure out how to do it. That's I think that's the issue. You on that phone? Yeah, all my stuff is on phone. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. That's, that's not an excuse though. But I hear you. You are gonna have to figure that out. And talk to your people. He's got to be by his computer, not his phone. He can't even be. You can't even get real like a D in this class if you're still on your phone. So just keep that in mind. We're just starting. It's gonna get hard on you. Um, so look, everybody make a copy, save the link later, Davenport, and try to open it. Or you can try to just watch the video, the whole hour-long video, and do it over. Either way, I'd figure out that computer or get off that phone or something. 
Now, everybody else, you should have made a copy. First thing you want to change is your name, right? Because the name is my name, not yours. You can put your name there, right? Next, you should be doing this with me so you don't have too much to do by 8 p.m. tonight because I don't play with time either. You, you get less percentage for the assignment. You should be looking up the words. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to do this yourself. So the words are there for you. I put that there for you already. You just got to put the definitions. Look it up on Google. Also, you have this classroom term that was also discussed in GGI, which is why I'm like, y'all should come to GGI because they tell you what the words are. But y'all don't come. So try to you know help yourself out with that. Next is the problem. Now, here is the tricky part. This is an example problem. This is not your problem. When you go into Edsby, you're going to need to rewrite the problem. So I'm going to do it with you, right? But I'm not going to change this document. You have to do what I'm telling you to. So here's the actual problem. And I'll put the first problem you're doing in the chat and someone can read it for at least, it's a lot to say. So I want to say 25 points. I got marked here for it. So I got my running notes for this. Uh, is this the class? No, it's not. This is not fourth period. There we go. And um, basically, you should be in your fourth period. You have notes to example problem, similar method. You just got to change your numbers and recalculate. you engineering students. So I got to make sure you guys actually put the effort in. Now, let me come down a little bit. Here's your first problem. It matches up the same. I'm going to have a student read as much as Google will let me put in the chat feature. Got to see what happens. It might cut off some of the characters. I'm worried about that. So you want to go to your chat, everybody, to see what we're talking about. All right, that's the first part. And then that's the last part. All right, this is going to be worth, I want to say, 25 points. It's not a whole lot. And I want to get you know, give you some time to work on this problem. And you got a homework problem, too, or asynchronous problem. You got to finish. You get 25 points uh, towards your class points today. And this is like I do this in case people don't do the assignment on time or don't do it at all. You still get some points for what you did in class, which is read and then show how much you did. And this lets me know how much you are paying attention to. So uh, can I get Mr. Benford to come to the screen and read what's in the chat there? Because I know he can't speak onto his computer. You got to turn on the microphone by the, and try to speak into the computer. Oh, he, that was smart. He took his laptop with him. <laughs> I should have told him to do the last time. That was cool. And uh, you just got to turn on the mic and read. What's in the chat, I mean. That was real smart, Borders. I think, the, I don't know whose idea that was. That was real smart. You would need type, you know, you would need to type the steps toward the answer and the Google Docs and also download the PDF version. To uh, well, slow down, slow down, Playboy. Uh -uh. Come up to the top at 204. You don't get 30 points for that, <laughs> 25 points for that. All right, so start where it says good morning. You see that? Okay. Go down. Mm -hmm. Good morning, all peers. Aspiring? Aspiring mm -hmm. engineers. Uh, electrical engineers, sir. Complete the following questions below. Notes. Circular problems are done in the classroom. Asynchronous. 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 Asynchronous problems are completed at home. Go on. Finding electric potential. potential product produced by a point charges of 8.18. 10. Raised to the power. Raised to the power. Negative 7. Negative 7. Humble and Coulombs. At the distance of 5.8. 89 meters. <laughs> Two A. Keep going. Large <laughs> potential. Two point five minutes from a point charge. Q is three point seven. Ten up to the four volts. What is the value of the charge? Q. You will need to type the steps toward the answer in a Google Docs and also download a PD version to be uploaded and submitted to. It. As before, great. Please show all steps of the calculations to all final answers in order to receive optional credits on the answer. Assessment. Assessment. 
Stay safe out there. Thank you, sir. You have a seat. Thank you, Mr. Board. It's awesome work. All right. So that's 30. Well, I'm going to give him 30 points because he, he, he did his best. Um, now, everybody, uh, if you look at the problem that ESB has, you're going to first need to, after you've made your own copy, replace this question with the question in the chat. So the first question is this, right? Find the electric potential produced by a point charge of 6.8. 6.78 times 10 to the negative 7 coulombs at a distance of 2.87 meters. Your problem is in chat and ESBY. You're going to copy that problem from the chat and replace it in your copy, your made copy of this document right there. So I need you to do that right now because that's the problem you're working on. Now, you can always flip back to my notes and see what I did, but you have to change your known and unknown values because it's going to be based upon that problem. Also, the notes to solve this problem are right here. These are the equations you're going to use. Hint, hint, one of the terms for today's objective, right? So electrostatic constant K is equal to 8.99 times 10 to the ninth power. And that's newtons times meters squared divided by coulombs squared. You have to make the document look the same as mine's. But you have to solve it like I did. Now, where did I get some of these values from? I said what K was, and that's to make sure you understood, K is also noted in my known values down here. Okay? What else? A point charge of, well, point charge is Q. That's right here. But you notice your numbers are different from my numbers. You got to basically either copy that question over and then change the numbers and recalculate the way I did. All right, so I'm going to give you 10 minutes. I'm going to see who can do what they can do. And if you need help, I'll go through some of it with you in the next steps. But I want you to get 10 minutes of trying it out and seeing if you can figure out what you need to do from the notes I gave you. So 10 minutes, we're going to, we're going to do a share out, and we're going to see who gets their at least 25 points towards today's in-class score. Do your best because we we're, we're, we're going to be sharing screens in a moment. So don't cut corners. Also, don't forget, I almost forgot myself, that you need your simulation to go back to this and put that screenshot into your document, your document, not mine. It has to be a screenshot like this. In case you don't know, we go back to this FET. Your screenshot, it copies. You'll see an image come over here. And where are we at? We come to the document you're working on. Now, you're working on your document. But somewhere at the end of your notes, when you're done calculating that problem I gave you, you're going to hold control and push V. And that's not what I wanted you to do, my man. Come here. Oh, because it came as an image. So you're going to click on, it's not a uh, screen, Scott. It's a, anyway, so it's uh, you click insert and then image and upload from computer. That's how you do that. All right. So again, insert image and upload from your computer. And if you did the screenshot, it'll download to your computer. And here's the screenshot. You put that in there. So don't forget to have that in your document too at the end of the 10 minutes. All right. Let me know if you got questions in between. If I have, if I can add, answer it, meaning it's not a way to help you do the problem without thinking about it. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you something like, so maybe something you forgot to do earlier. Otherwise, I want you to try to get as much done in class as possible. So you can get full credit for today.
let's see how far we've gotten. Stop. Sitting here writing down notes for your benefit. <laughs> okay. And uh, what's wrong with my camera? Uh, all right. Okay. All right, let's get into it. Uh, trying to see if everything's working right. Good. Now, I want to see, uh, I'm going to go around the room, see how far we've gotten. So time for share outs. But uh, real quick, uh, Mr. Davenport, I know you read a bunch of times this. Ms. Smith, can you read this? I think uh, he read it twice. I remember he was like, again? <laughs> Ms. Smith, are you there? Oh, go ahead. Potential. What is the day throughout? Today's objective is for the viewers to analyze the electric potential voltage with respect to the electrostatic constant charging distance. All right. Um, thank you. Okay. So, uh oh, he left. Lord. I was about to try to do share outs. Okay. So, I don't know. He's probably not going to get his points if you don't come back. But, uh, Ms. Smith, uh, can you share your screen? Want to see how far you've gotten with this assignment? You there? I right. hear oh, I got I got to turn it on, right? Sorry, one second. Come on, wait for the screen to change. Uh, what about? Um, let me stop sharing to make sure it works right. Okay. It is gonna. It should be good for you now. All right. So, um, do you, is it letting you activate it or no? Oh wait, I think I see something coming up. I had to check my other computer. Oh, okay. Let you. Okay, can you zoom in a little bit? You can kind of. You got it at a different ratio. Let me pin this screen. See if I can see her. Oh, okay, okay. It, it came up on my other computer. Uh, so go to your your tab. Yep, and you see where it says one hundred percent, and over there by the um, yeah, and go to like try one fifty. Oh, that's so much better. Thank you. Now, uh, come down. Okay, now you're missing your uh, classroom term of the day up there, and your word of the day. You didn't put the definitions in. You go back up. Yeah, so you didn't do those definitions. You just got to Google them, okay? okay? All right, go down a little bit. Let's see what else you got there. Okay, you got to also change my name to your name. Uh, oh, you're moving around. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, you got Okay. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're moving too fast, girl. I'm trying to read that. <laughs> Slow down. All right, so you said Q is 3.7. Oh, my goodness. You got the hang of it. Okay. And this is 2A? Yeah. Okay, go up to 1S. Did you do the uh, original problem? Oh, so, okay, slow down. Okay. All right, that's, that's the old problem. Go down a little bit. Okay, 1S. You got the new one. Okay, I think. And scroll down a little more. I want to see if you got it. Okay, wait. Slow, stop. Slow, stop, stop. <laughs> she passed. Okay. 818, 818. Yep, that's the charge. You got the hang of this. Okay, you're doing good. All right, Um. so you just got to finish your calculations up. And my name is not, you got to go up. That's your name to go up there, right? No, no, go, come to the top of the document. At the very top. Yeah, see, see Mike Tyler there? Uh, yeah, but... It, did you see Mike Tyler there, right? I see. I saw him change it with. Oh, I couldn't hear you. Okay. So just change it to your name. But you did do say the document right, though. So you can stop sharing. You got uh, 30 points for that. That was pretty cool. She's actually almost done with the homework assignment. All right. Next would be uh, Benford. I need you to share your screen, sir, to see how far you've gotten. Uh, just 10 minutes you got. She got a lot done, darn. We're waiting on you, Ramel. Uh, can you present your screen? I, get it. I told you you can't speak like that. You got to come up to the computer, sir, if you have a question. You're going to present an echo if you do it the other way. Uh, that's my bad, Tyler. I'll turn, oh, let's go. Let's go. I'll turn the screen all the way down and tell him he can turn me down. Oh, okay. I couldn't hear that. You say he turned him, turn, do what? I didn't get too far because. Get the phone or something. What? What did he do? I got a hang of it, so not really. Huh? 
I really don't get what I really don't get to. I can't like, understand what you're saying. What did you do in 10 I minutes? Really though? I really don't get it. It's, like you, it's not about you getting it, so you got to share your screen. Did you do the things I told you to do, though? Y'all can't use that and get it if you didn't follow directions. Share your screen. What have you been doing? You would get it if you follow directions. Share your screen now, because it looks like you probably was doing other stuff while we were supposed to be doing this. I don't got nothing else on my screen. Okay, so boy, I need you to figure out what he was doing for 10 minutes because he didn't do the assignment. No, dude, I told you step by step what to do. You have not done it. Has he made a copy of the document? This is going to be a hard year for y'all, man. All right, so you have to follow the directions. All right, I don't get it as a quarter three excuse. Thank you. That's all I ask you to do is share your screen. Thank you, sir. All right, moving on. Copy the document. Go up. I'm trying to show you how you grade it. All right, good. No, you get it. You get it. It's next time follow directions. So those words there, I need definitions, sir. Okay. Scroll down some. I want to see how much you've gotten done. Because this part I did for you. Let's see if you even tried the problem. You didn't try the problem. Okay. So look, next time, you got to put in a little more effort. And where's your screenshot of that uh, simulation? Where is that at? You're supposed to have that in there too. Remember? Yeah. Okay. So no, do it right now while I'm seeing what you're doing. So I want you to want to get that clear. You're going to do what I'm telling you to do. Go up to your, your simulation. No, 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 no. The simulation, sir. Where? That's all the way over there in its capacitor tab, sir. This capacitor tab. It's, okay, so come over to your your right. You have one, two, three. It's the very last tab. Do you see that? This right here? No, tab. Go up. Tab. Good. Now, come down to FET simulation in the corner. Click on that. Screenshot. These are the things I told you to do a long time ago. Go back I to your did. document. No, you didn't because your dick, your image is not there. You didn't do it. Click on that. Now, scroll down to the very bottom of your document. Mm -hmm. uh, click underneath the, the voltage setting because you want to make your, your cursor go there. There you go. Insert. This is what I told you. I'm not being evil. I told you this 30 minutes ago. Insert. Come up to no, no. Use your mouse to come up to the insert. You see by view. A uh, view where at the top in your tools. Okay. You see file, edit, view, insert, right? Yeah. Yeah. Click on it. Good. Now go to image. Yep. Upload. This is what I explained to you. Uh huh. Come on, y'all gotta pay attention. And then go to uh, where did it download? Go to downloads. Uh huh. Now, I'm not being able. If you watch this recording again, you were not paying attention. I told you to do all these things a long time ago. But I did and download it because there's two of them right here. You downloaded it, but you didn't put it in a document. You want to argue, but you didn't do what I told you to do. You were daydreaming. Now click on the image and hit open, sir. Because it's not in there. That's what I told you to do a long time ago. Do you understand now? Yeah. Good. Now I need you to work on that problem because you, you pretty much, we're at the end of class. So everybody is pretty much dismissed. But look, y'all got to do like Mikhaila's doing. Got to get with the program or you're going to fail. I'm not here. I don't get it if you didn't even try. Okay. So everybody have a good evening. Get to your next period, which it starts at 240. Thank you.